Hey guys, it's Jazz and I will be doing the voiceover for this makeup tutorial. So first up I'll be going in with primer. I'm using the That Gal Benefit Primer. It's a brightening primer and yeah, I just wanted to achieve a really nice glowy base. And for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Sand. And as you can see, I'm just dotting it on her face first and blending it all out with a damp beauty blender. So, for the Santorini collection, we decided to go for a really flawless, dewy, bronzy base. So, that is what we'll be doing today. And for the eyes, we decided to use peachy, nudie tones. I'm so obsessed with how the look turned out and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. For concealer, I'm using my absolute favorite, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light. And as you can see, I'm just placing that underneath her eyes. And then I go ahead to place it on her chin, Cupid's bow area, forehead, and then down the bridge of her nose. And then I go ahead to blend it all in with a damp beauty blender. Then to make sure the concealer doesn't crease, all night long I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm using a baking technique to set that area and I'm just taking that on my damp beauty blender again and packing it directly underneath her eyes. Then to set the rest of her face, I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder. I actually only put this in the areas where I'm going to bronze just because I wanted to keep the face dewy so I didn't want to set it. So yeah, I only put it in where I'm going to bronze so along her cheekbones, jawline, and then a little bit on her forehead. For brows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette. I'm taking the shade Soft Brown. It's just a brow powder, super easy to use. And I'm just using that on a Pony Cosmetics eyebrow brush, one of my favorites, and just lightly filling in her brows. Then to define the brows, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again in the shade Light and just using that on a flat concealer brush and defining the bottom of the brows. Then again, using that same concealer, I'm using that on her eyelids as an eye base. Then just setting it with a powder just to make sure that the eyeshadows blend seamlessly on. And then now I'm just taking off that excess powder from the under eye bake. To bronze, I'm using the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer. Obsessed with this product because it's glowy as well. So I'm just placing that on her cheeks and then I go ahead and place quite a bit on her forehead just to give the illusion of a bronzed, sun-kissed look. Then to slightly contour, I'm using the Hula Benefit Bronzer just with the brush that it came with. Then to bake the contoured area, which will make the cheekbones look more defined, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder again, and I'm just using that on an angled wedge. Then after a few minutes, I'm just brushing off the excess powder from the bake. Then taking the Too Faced Sweethearts blush in the color Sparkling Bellini and just placing that on the apples of her cheeks. For highlighter, I wanted a really intense glow, so I decided to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood highlighter, which is a pure gold and it is absolutely stunning. So I'm placing that on the highest points of her cheekbones, then I go to put it on her cupid's bow and on the tip of her nose. Thank you. 
So now onto eyes, I'm using Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek Cosmetics as the transition shade. It's just a really nice warm toned brown color and yeah, I'm just using Windscreen Wiper Motions into her crease. Then taking a darker and more terracotta warmer brown and also placing that in her crease just to give it a little bit more dimension. Then for the lid, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Rose Gold Cream Shadow. Unfortunately, because this was limited edition, it's not available anymore. But the MAC 10 pigment is literally the exact same color and gives off the exact same finish. So if you're wanting to go for this look for your formal or special occasion, then I would 100% recommend the MAC 10. 10 pigment. Then going in with Mocha by Makeup Geek and I'm just using that in the crease area as well to give it a little bit more dimension and then I'm also running that along the lower lash line as well. Then for mascara, I'm just using the Benefit Roller Lash, but obviously for hygiene reasons, I'm using that on a disposable mascara wand. It's really, really good for separating and lengthening as well as thickening the lashes. It's a really good mascara. Then for lashes, I'm using the Studio Mink Angel Mink Lashes, which are available on the website for you to buy. And I'm just putting them on with some Duo Lash Glue. And then I went on and put some mascara on her bottom lashes. For lips, we decided on a really pretty peachy nude. So to line the lips, I'm using Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lip Liner. And then the lipstick we used was the Rimmel London Kate Moss Shade 42 Apricot Nude. Oh my god, Rimmel lipsticks are so underrated. They are so affordable and absolutely beautiful. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for a really pretty peachy nude lipstick, then I would 100% recommend the Rimmel ones. They are amazing. And then over top, I'm just using a clear gloss. I'm using the Too Faced Lip Injection in the shade Milkshake. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you do end up doing your own makeup for your formal or special event coming up soon, I hope this gave you some inspo and helped you guys out. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.